Hello? Hi, is Brandon there? Yes, this is him. Hey, Brandon. This is John Alexander Mormon. My mom said you stopped by. Yes. Awesome. Well, that's 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 great. I was actually uh, – first of all, what office are you out of? Are you out of Los Angeles? The Colorado Springs office. Okay. All right. Do you know, is, is the FBI Bakersfield the same as the FBI Los Angeles? Um, you're, you're say, talking Bakersfield, California? Yeah. Um, so that would be a, uh, a satellite office of either Los Angeles or maybe San Francisco. So you don't know who's in charge there? I do not. Is there a reason that's um, relevant? Well, yeah, I think I was under surveillance there because my family was suspected of drug trafficking. And the FBI, um, bigger still, it's kind of crazy, I think. Like, uh, for example, someone hacked my computer. I'm, I'm a computer guy, so I know I know when I've been hacked in the past now. I have a degree in, in cybersecurity. Someone hacked my computer and put horse porn on there. Like, when I was, like, eight. I looked for animal pictures, and then horse porn showed up. So it's like, who's doing that? Yeah, I mean, that... But, I, uh, um, and anyhow, um, so, so did um, your, uh, yeah, my mom, my mom did talk to me. She said something about Bill Clinton, but one thing I wanted to mention is, do, do you know if I have charges against me for anything like any court cases? Not that I'm aware of. Um, so that means that's why I don't have a lawyer. Per- correct. You're not you're not charged with anything and obviously you know you're not in custody <laughs> yeah um uh, i have another question i have all these questions for you i i asked if jeff epstein is under in, was under investigation for drug trafficking in, in my list and i can't imagine you would know that because you're from colorado springs right correct um right. because if he was that would be a big problem um so do you know um I can tell that I have more followers on Twitter than it says. And for me, the First Amendment says that I have the right to have free speech and also have other people's free, free, free speech be expressed. So if Twitter is censoring my followers, well, I would Twitter think that's unconstitutional. Is private, Twitter is a private organization. Like but they Twitter. wouldn't do that without the FBI encouraging them to do it. I can't help you there. So, so do, uh, do you know if Twitter's censoring my followers? Not that I'm aware of. So the reason so I've contacted like five FBI offices and no one's added me from anywhere about this Austin Bomber situation. I mean, that's well, that's my real question: is how in the do, world do you go by John no one's contacting me? I go by Alex. But okay, all I'm saying is, if no one's contacting me and no one's adding me, then obviously, then I'm living in freaking George Orwell's 1984. And I'm trying to figure out what's up with you guys. Because my understanding is you're the smartest guys in the entire FBI. And that's why you're talking to me. So and that's why you're trying to get me to, to stop asking with, you questions. The reason I wanted to talk with you is to have you explain kind of why you posted that video. The, about how the government has – is blackmailing Donald Trump? Yes. Like, the and intelligence also, community? Yes, and why you – thought the director of the NSA needed to be hung and because why I NSA think that, that get Donald killed. Trump was blackmailed by like people in the Obama administration and other people into picking this guy. And that's a very concerning thing. I mean, I don't know why the FBI is not concerned with it. You're, you're, that's what your job is to be concerned with that. And all you have to do is go see if there's an Austin Bomber confession. Like I, if I, if I hear the confession, you will never hear from me again. I will be so embarrassed. I will be in the world of shame. I want you to shame me because I don't want to believe the government is that disgusting. And if, the, if, if, if there was blackmail to pick this guy in, in the most powerful position in the world or to be in the most powerful position in the world, wouldn't you want to know? Especially if, his, if the family he's descended from was our, our, our arch enemy since like forever. Since we were Christian missionaries. The general were third generation American, sir. It, dude, I'm just saying, dude, you have to think about it. I like, had a cousin like, that like, fought I mean, with the Luftwaffe. What? I had a cousin that fought with the Luftwaffe in World War II. I don't care about that. What I'm trying to say is the Japanese specifically, their culture has been our arch enemy more than anyone ever. Germany was like a recent enemy because of 
But I'm just saying, like, that's something you should consider when picking someone for a job like that. But that's not – like, all I'm saying is if there's no Austin Bomber confession, then I swear to God, I've already said it. I will go to prison for three months because I slandered this person, and you can put it in the news, and I'll, 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 I deserve it, which, well, I don't deserve it. Because if there's anything you've heard is my, my testimony about the Austin Bomber, because I know you watched it. Because you're not a stupid person, and if you listen to it, then what you heard is a real eyewitness testimony that's not lying. I'm not saying they're going, I went and told everyone about this. I went and talked to the CTO of the NSA. No, what I'm saying is this is what happened. It was freaking suspicious. The Huffington Post removed this article. This guy has no idea how to make bombs. They lie and say he knows how to make bombs. For some reason, I know how to make bombs because someone gave me a bomb-making book. book because the FBI was always spying on me and trying to bust me. They're always trying to freaking set me up, and that's why it's like – all right, dude, do you have any idea like how pissed I am when you, when you contact me and you, you haven't released the Austin Bomber confession yet? Sorry. It's just I'm really frustrated. Yeah, I mean, so obviously I've not been involved in the Austin Bomber thing. No, but why really? wouldn't you? Like, why wouldn't you listen to it before you contact me? Like, does the FBI, is the FBI afraid to be able to hear evidence? Like, do you not care? The I mean, FBI come on, dude. The really FBI investigated like, the mean, Austin bombing, sir. Well, why wouldn't you go listen to evidence before you call me? That's what I'm saying. You can call me after you get the evidence, but uh, I'm sorry I'm mad right now, but um, I think I need to get a lawyer before I talk to you any further. But um, I appreciate you, you contacting me. Hopefully you'll contact me after you hear the Austin Bomber confession. So 